name is Cesar Carvajal, and I'm representing Straw Paintings. Uh, the art is uh, original from Mexico City, but it's a dying art. It's very hard to find this kind of artwork, even in Mexico. Um, all of the paintings right here is made out of a straw, like broom straw, and beeswax. This is my glue. So the first step what I do is I put a thin layer of beeswax on the paper, and then I stick the straw into the wax. I push it in with my fingernail, and I cut it piece by piece one piece at a time. And then uh, um, I finish it with lacquer to seal it much better. And the same time looks more shiny. I'm applying henna tattoos using organic henna paste. Dia, so going for Indian traditional designs. No, you play like you play like that. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, do you know what that is? Oh, With the love. <laughs> yes. It's so pretty. What we have to do is we have to put it into an oven, actually. So at 1,000 degrees, the glass stops moving. So we have to keep it above 1,000 degrees while we're working on it. So what Kim has here is a bubble with a little knob on top. And now she's dropping molten glass, that's 2,000 degree glass right there, cutting it with some shears. Right and it cuts right through that glass because it's so hot. So they're about to shape that glob of glass into a foot by putting a wooden paddle at the bottom. And so she's pushing her jacks, that tool's called the jacks, it's like two knife blades hinged together. She's pushing against the wooden paddle there and they're making a flat foot. We call it a foot at the bottom of our goblet. And so the next step is to open that cup. They turn together, she's cooling her restriction line which is called the jack line, putting water on that line to get it cold enough to break. The furnace is 2,000, so when it comes out all drippy, it's actually 2,150 degrees. And it looks kind of greenish, but it will turn that um, turquoise blue as it cools down on the top there. And that's it, you got a glass. Guys, you gotta give it a face.